Uh, today, as opposed to the early days of term extraction research, basic linguistic processing, such as part, part of speech tagging and lemmatization, are available for a broad range of languages, and linguistically informed approaches tend to be more accurate and easy to adapt to new domains. A term grammar is a set of language-specific rules describing typical term structure. Uh, such as uh, the examples you can see here, for example, adjective plus noun is a very frequent combination for terms in English, but also in many uh, other languages. Uh, this is an example of a longer term in Slovene, uh, composed of a noun as headword and a prepositional um, phrase as a post modifier. Um, a term grammar, of course, is usually not enough for identifying terms because not all such uh, sequences will be domain-specific. So uh, we combine a term grammar with um, some um, measure of termhood or keyness. Um, the term grammar implemented in Sketch Engine is uh, described in detail here where um, you can also find instructions about how to construct your own uh, term grammar. For the final part of this unit, let us, let us uh, expand our view of extractable knowledge to include definitions and defining contexts. Um, definitions are important not only for terminographers, but they provide valuable information about the terms, such as synonyms, variants, and the hypernym, because as we have learned in previous units, the definition has a typical structure. Uh, so usually it is composed of a definiendum, uh, the defining phrase, the genus or the hypernym, and the differentia, so the, the other uh, characteristics. Um, most approaches to extract definitions um, try to uh, exploit this uh, structure and um, rely on patterns uh, to extract uh, sentences or sequences from the corpus which uh, contain such a structure. Um, on the other hand, a number of uh, machine learning experiments have been performed to mine uh, definitions from text. Um, um, and I will just briefly describe one such experiment uh, that we've performed um, uh, with two colleagues a couple of years ago. Uh, you can, of course, for most machine learning approaches, if we want to train an algorithm to distinguish between definitions and non-definitions, we must usually provide a training set of positive and negative examples from which the classifier or the machine learning algorithm can learn. For definitions, there is a very handy source, namely the Wikipedia, uh, where uh, each uh, uh, Wikipedia article is normally um, uh, uh, composed or has a certain structure. So there is a title and the first sentence um, in the article is the definition, uh, whereas probably other sentences uh, which follow um, may still start with the, de with the definiendum, so with the defining term, but uh, will very likely not be definitions. So uh, we can simply automatically compile um, a training set by taking the first sentences uh, from Wikipedia articles and the non-first sentences as a positive and negative examples. Uh, on the other hand, um, uh, I've mentioned before that you can also use patterns to define, uh, to extract definitions, and this is also something that we'll be doing in the next unit. Uh, so we can say that this, the sentence is a definition candidate if it contains a defining morphosyntactic pattern. Uh, for example, we would expect the sentence to contain a um, nominal phrase in the, nomin in the nominative case. Uh, then the pa a pattern such as 
is a or is a kind of or something like that and then followed by another um, nominal phrase which will probably be the genus in this defining sentence um, and here we can see a, an example so we have a sentence such as a line is a natural enclosed depression found in karst landscape and this pattern conforms um, this sentence conforms to the pattern that we've uh, defined. Uh, here is an example of, uh, of such patterns extracted from a Christology corpus and uh, you can clearly see that not all such sentences are true definitions but um, some of them uh, could be used uh, or could be included in a term base. For example, here we have a definition of biofilm, uh, the line, um, a speleotheme, uh, sinkhole, uh, and so on. Not all such patterns are productive. Uh, this is um, a table demonstrating the pr productivity of such patterns for Croatian and for English. Uh, so here, if you look at the percentage of true definitions extracted by each pattern, uh, some tend to be more productive than others. If you'd like to read more, uh, I've listed some uh, references about uh, different approaches to term extraction and definition extraction. Uh, and uh, now um, what follows is a task where you will try to find definition like expressions um, uh, on Google using wildcard search.